How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping out another video. Right guys, uh, it's now 10 to 1 in the morning. Um, some of the prison news has uh, come across my eye. So I'm doing the usual, doing some prison vlogs and stuff. Um, this particular story right now, I'm tired yeah, but I have to do this particular story. Um, why? Because it winds me up a great deal. Um, and if I don't do it, I won't be able to sleep because it'll be irritating me. So I'm going to do a vlog uh, and put it out there for you guys. There's two other stories I'm going to do as well. <clears throat> um, this is a story in the Daily Mirror. Uh, this story angers me a great deal. If you've been in prison, uh, you'll completely understand why I'm angry uh, when you listen to this absolute rubbish. Uh, so the, the headline reads, Prison Lags, which is obviously another word for prisoners, cons. Uh, coining it in as Santa's helpers by producing Christmas goodies in jail. It's an exclusive, which just means they're the first people to run the story. Um, inmates at a string of prisons are coining it in, selling food, gifts and decorations for the festive season. Uh, you might not want this lot climbing down your chimney. Lags are hard at work being Santa's little helpers by producing Christmas goodies in jail. Inmates at a string of prisons are coining it in, selling food, gifts and decorations for the festive season. One jail has its own smokehouse, making treats such as kippers, bacon and smoked salmon. A local firm paid for it to be installed at HMP Havrig in Cumbria and prisoners get £28 a week to work there. A farm shop at HMP Kirkham, Cat D, in Lancashire, well it's near Blackpool, uh, in Lancashire sells uh, fresh veg, flowers and steak from rare breed Longhorn cattle. It also sells garden furniture and sheds made by lags, paid about £15 a week. Remember guys, we're coining it in. And then this is the picture of the this is the picture on the article. A Christmas tree. Unbelievable, guys, this sort of rubber really, really winds me up this stuff. But I'm gonna do my bit at the end. HMP Earl Stoke in Wiltshire sells jewelry boxes, garden chairs, wishing wells, planters, and bird tables made by the handy prisoners. There is also fresh produce, including free-range eggs and Christmas cakes. Part of a range dubbed Guilty Pleasures. The, uh, the theme surf shop at HMP Hatfield near Doncaster, South Yorkshire, has fruit, veg and flowers, as well as walking sticks, aprons and garden furniture, made by prisoners earning £15 a week. But again, coining it in. Uh, the women at Ascombe Grange Prison near York sells uh, spreads, pickles, as well as Christmas trees and wreaths, and also get £15 a week. The Clink Restaurant, now this one really winds me up. The Clink Restaurant outside Style Women's Prison in Cheshire is run by Lags with help from a charity and is a TripAdvisor's top rated restaurant in Wilmslow. Wilmslow's in Cheshire. The prison service said money generated from the prison enterprise goes to fund other projects at individual jails and when charities are involved in the enterprises supporting offenders after they are released from jail. And I've got to hold it together, guys, right? Because this really pisses me off. Really, really pisses me off. No end. Right, now. Prisoners working in prison, right? The Clink Restaurant. Let's start with the Clink Restaurant, right? This, the Clink Restaurant prices are through the roof. They're expensive. If you go, it's like a gastro sort of environment. Gastro pub. It's a very, it's a nice restaurant. And the food's like gastro. So you're talking like like a tiny bit of meat, a, foot, a massive plate, a tiny bit of meat with some jus around the edge and two carrot buttons that are probably like crisscross or something. And you're probably paying £15, £18 for that. Uh, the prisoners are getting £15 a week, uh, according to this report, uh, working at the Clink restaurant. Now, I ask you guys, where do you think the rest of that money is going? Yes, you guessed it. It's going in the prison's pocket. The prison's pocket. If it's a, if it's Her Majesty's prison, um, it's going into the, the government's pocket, the Ministry of Justice's pocket. Um, if you are working for a private prison, uh, if you work, if you are like work at Circle Prison or a G4S run prison or a Sodexo Justice Services run prison, it goes to their fat cats. Now, minimum wage dictates, guys, under employment law, minimum wage dictates that what is it, seven pound eighty three or something an hour um, per prisoner 
per hour per man or woman, because obviously we've got female offenders, right? The prisoners are getting, when I worked in prison, I worked seven days a week for £10.25, right? Uh, that was as a wing cleaner, yeah? And then you can earn like £10, £10.25, £15 if you was a wing cleaner. Uh, if you was on the server, I think it was about £18, £20, and then like 25 to up to £28. £28 is the most I've ever heard of a prisoner uh, getting. Um, but like I say, you guys, prisoners are being exploited for external companies. So the prison is outsourcing prisoners, right, for slave labor, because that's what it is, exploiting the prisoners, paying them tuppence for what the work they do now like i say i work seven days a week for 10 pound 25 a week right minus a pound for me television because you've got to pay for your tv right these prisoners are working monday to friday right working around it could be 25 30 hours a week right they're getting 15 pound a what, what what were the amounts like? so let me go back right so what were they saying here 28 pound a week at one 15 pound at kirkham to sell fresh uh veg flowers and steak uh, sells garden furniture and sheds made by lags. £15, right? So how much do you think that them... Say it's a shed or a garden furniture, right? And it's being made by a prisoner. How much do you think the prison are selling for? Do you think this they, they, they sell it for the £15 it's cost them for the prisoner to make them and sell them? Uh, to make them for them to sell? They're the balls, guys. Price goes up. And the, 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 they're exploiting prisoners, guys. It's nothing more than slave labour. I ask you guys... How he's working in prison for being exploited, right, and getting laughable wages for working long hours. How is that supposed to give the disenfranch disenfranchised prisoner a sense of self-worth, like they, they're worth something? Simple, guys. They don't. They don't. It's as simple as that. When I worked in Forest Bank, I think we got paid £70 a session. I was a wing cleaner, yeah. So, like I say, if you was on, like, you, you, work, you start on the ones, then you work up to the twos, onto the showers... From your showers, you go on to the wing painter, from the wing painter, you be on a servery, uh, and you work your way up, do you know what I mean? But like I say, guys, how is it supposed to give the prisoner a sense of self-worth, right? It's common knowledge that prisoners, not, not all prisoners, but certain prisons have got workshops, right? And in the workshops, example, Forest Bank, right? There was three officers that have recently been, two of them have been jailed, I think one got a suspended sentence, right? Um, they stole £100,000 worth of stuff from the prison, an outside company, like it was like an Amazon esque sort of company. They stuff was sent to the prison in like like just massive bags. The prisoners had had to like arrange them and sort them and stuff like that, right? And then so that slave labour. Now they were stealing the stuff to sell on eBay and stuff, right? And they got jailed and stuff like that. Um, but it's common that prisoners in, in Forest Bank there was a job on the kiosk, twenty five pound a week, right? Now you look at that, right, and think twenty five pound a week. Oh, I'm in prison, whoopie do. right? It's laughable, guys. £25 a week to work in a call centre within a workshop within the prison, right? Again, how much do you think... Do you, do you think that the prison just say, yeah, yeah, it's okay, you can use our prisoners and just pay us... What it just pay us fifteen pound a week or twenty pound a week or eighteen pound a week, and we'll just give just, you pay us just that amount just for the prisoner. Do these balls, guys? It's a money making exercise. Private prisons or prisons for profits, as I call them, right? It, the, the first goal and the end goal is financial gain, and shit rolls downhill, and prisoners are at the bottom of that hill. And like I say, the, the, the being used, these companies should be named and shamed, right? It's like with under the government and stuff, these people that were on that are on job seekers allowance and stuff, they, these uh, they was being put on this um like working at pound stretcher and stuff like that, where everything was worth a pound but them because they wasn't getting paid. They said it was to build their self-esteem up. Do you know what I mean? You can't go to the bank and type in, oh yeah, I'll pay my bill with self-esteem because I feel great. Do you know what I mean? The idea is it's exploiting prisoners in the worst of circumstances and the prisoners just put up with it. Prison succeeds only in desensitizing you, dehumanizing you, demoralizing you and making you even more disenfranchised than when you entered the system. For me, every prisoner that works in prison should receive minimum wage. Now, like I said, that there's no way on earth, do you honestly believe that the prison say to these external companies, oh, well, we're going to pay him £15, so you pay us the £15 and then we'll just pay it in. So, they're the balls. They're renting the prison. It's like pimping the prisoners out and they're pocketing the rest of the money. That's the reality, right? And these sorts of stories really anger me. I mean, look at the fucking headline. Look at, Just look at the headline, guys. Is, is someone taking a piss? 
Prisoners coining it in as Santa's little helpers. Someone's taking the piss, mate, proper. Like I said, it's a travesty what's going on within our prisons and it really, really angers me that prisoners are being made to force. Well, no, they're not forced because it's a choice at the end of the day. You can refuse, but then you can lose your bang-up pay, your bang-up pay. I know it sounds silly, but you, there's like the dole in prison. If you're not working in prison because there's not jobs for everyone, you can get 50p a day bang-up, right, Monday to Friday. So that's £2.50. And then it, at the end of that week, right, your £2.50, if you are in a single cell, they'll take a pound off you for your TV, leaves you with £1.50. If you're in a double cell, they'll take 50p off you for your TV. Two 250p is obviously a pound for two prisoners. And that's the reality, but prisoners are being exploited, right? Any of these companies, guys, should be named and shamed. I mean, one of them's called, what's this one called? Guilty Pleasures or something like that. Kirkham's a cat D, right? There's a, there was a female prison in here as well. Um, you've got Earl Stoke there, that's not a woman's prison. You've got Ascombe Grange near York, that's a woman's prison, selling chutneys and stuff. The Clink restaurant's the one particularly that angers me because if you have a look at how busy that restaurant is, if you have a look at the reviews online and you have a look at the pictures of the food, it's not just there, there's also one at Cardiff, I believe, as well, uh, Clink restaurants. Now, it's nothing more than exploiting prisoners. It's a money-making exercise for the prison. They're making money off the prisoners that goes in their pocket or goes in the Ministry of Justice's pocket, right? And then they're taking a pound off a prisoner for a TV if he's in a single cell, if he's in a double, it's 50p each, right? So they're making, th they're making what? If you've got a thousand, you're making about a thousand pound a week on top of the thing. Yeah? Then you're pimping prisoners out and you're pocketing the rest of the money that you're giving them 15 pound, you're pocketing 150 pound or 160 pound or whatever the case may be, right? Then you've got prisoners' families coming up on visits. You've got shitty shitty cheap bread that's like cardboard with a thin piece of ham that's probably 99p a pack and there's probably 100 pieces in it, right, because it's processed shit. Put it on there. Oh, we'll stick £2.50 on that. And then prisoners' families, you lot, are going on the visits, right, and are paying that money after you paid for your travel to get there, your petrol, your taxi, your train, whatever your situation may be, then you're taking money on the visit. Then you're buying overpriced food on the visit. Who pockets the money, guys? Yep, you're right. It goes in the pocket of the prison. And if it's a private prison, you're lying in there. They're getting fat and rich of your loved ones because your loved one's in prison and you're suffering. They're getting fat and rich off it. Right, And on top of that, a lot of these big private prisons, the, 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 because obviously the government are corrupt, they don't pay tax, right? They're laughing all the way to the bank, guys. And there's prisoners' families that have, that have died this year and taken their own lives in private prisons, um, publicly ran prisons, Her Majesty's Prison Service prisons, right? And they're going to the morgue or might be going to the food bank because they can't afford to live because supporting someone in prison is an extremely financial uh, burden. It's a massive financial burden. And they're getting fat and rich off you. The prison phone. The prison phone, man. This is why mobile phones are such big business in prison. The prison phone's expensive to ring a landline, to ring a mobile from jail, right? It's about 39p, 40p plus, right? So if I, was to, if I took my £10.25 a week that I got paid when I was in Forest Bank and put that onto phone credit, right? How many minutes would I get for working seven days a week? Ignore the £10.25. I've put the £10.25 onto credit. Do you know what it amounts to, guys? 25 minutes, right? But then you can't... But obviously, because if, depending on what your IEP status is, say you're on £15 a week to spend because you're convicted, right? And you, you your standard level uh, IEP, right? Out of your £15, you've got to think, right, well, do I buy £5 credit and then, like some toiletries and some like stationery and stuff like that and you've got to pick and choose right and cut your cloth accordingly the facts are guys prisons are having prisoners and prisoners families and the taxpayer off right prisons it's been devolved to prisons the budgets and stuff what they spend per prisoner per meal per day three meals a day in prison i've heard one pound twenty i've heard up to two pound two p for three meals a day for a prisoner you can't even get one. You can get an happy meal for not, for one pound ninety nine, a child size one with a little pot, with a little tiny drink, a little burger and some fries. Two pound, like one ninety nine. Yeah, prisoners meal consumption for three prisoner uh, for th one prisoner for three meals a day. Two pound two p. It's an absolute travesty, guys. And they're having you off massively. I always say to prisoners' families, right? If you can eat before the visit, 
go in, buy your loved one, buy your loved one, get him cup of soups, get him chocolate, get him coffee, whatever he wants, yeah, cup of soups, sandwiches, whatever, for him. Don't you, don't you, if you can eat before, eat before, right? Because if you don't, if you if you don't and you eat on the visit, you're putting money into the prison's pocket and it angers me. And these sort of stories anger me. All these businesses here should be named and shamed, guys, right? Uh, like I say, what's that one where it says like, you got HMP Hatfield, Earl Stoke, and then one of them's one of the companies is called. Um, I'm gonna find it if it kills me. One sec. What is that called? Guilty pleasures. Uh, uh, HMP Earl Stoke in Wiltshire. They sell jewelry boxes, garden chairs, wishing wells, planters, and bird tables made by the handy prisoners. There is also fresh produce, including free range eggs and Christmas cakes. Part of a range dubbed Guilty Pleasures. Now, after I've come off the phone, I'm going to go onto their website and I'm going to see how much they're, they're charging for, for, for these items, right? And I'm going to put a link in the description below to their website, right? And like I say, tell me what you think about prisoners being used and exploited in that way. Like I say, these people, prisoners are disenfranchised, right? We've not had the same chances in life as other people. We're in prison were being exploited. They're making money off us as prisoners. They're making money off you on the prison phone because you're sending the money in, right? Only, obviously, you've got prisoners who've got mobiles, but I'm talking about those that are using the prison phone, right? They're making money off you on visits. They're making money off you on your other prison phone. Do you know what I mean? They're taking the piss, mate, proper, and then they're exploiting prisoners in this way. And then they're pocketing the money. Uh, uh, and do you know what, guys? And they're getting fat and rich and no one can do nothing about it. And it angers me a great deal. Let me know what you think about the story. I'm sorry for my passion, guys. Like I say, the time is now 1.07 a.m. Um, massive, massive. Angers me a great deal. Let me know what you think of the story. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I talking shit? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. But I'm going to find out, guys. And I'm interested to know from you guys so I can find out what you think about that. Have you ever thought about that? Have you thought about it? Have you not thought about it? Let me know, guys. It's not what I think. It's about what you think, right? Comments in the comment section below. Link in the description. And I'm also going to put a link to this um, Guilty Pleasures. Um, sounds like a sex shop, doesn't it? Right, guys. Going to leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.